When I was 18, I, I decided I wanted to come to America. I've always been told I could do anything I wanted to. And so it was no big deal to leave home. I found a job at this um, camp for the summer and I, I met my, my husband there. And um, I was there for three months and I went back home to England and decided that I was so in love, I needed to come back to America and start a family. I had my son in 04 and then I had my, my little girl in 2010. And she's just like me, which scares me. <laughs> Life was good. Life was really good. My son, when he was four, we were told that he was autistic. And so that, that changed life dramatically. And Tyler was around about 12, 13. Um, he started to have some issues with his eyes. Um, the sunlight would, would burn and we had to keep him inside and black out the windows. And so at one point we were told that he would have a year before he would be blind. And in that year was the biggest fight of my life. We went to hospital after hospital, doctor after doctor. And I didn't realize that the focus of everything was tighter until my little girl was like, well, I'm here too, you know? And that, was, that broke my heart. How I was able to get on with it was to numb the pain with alcohol. When I woke up, I would drink. I would always have a cup in my hand. I would try to hide my drinking at first. And then I got to the point where I, I didn't really care. I think I decided that I would rather drink and function the best I could than not function at all. Everything started to unravel and really it was hurting me and hurting my kids, hurting my family. Me and my husband both went to jail for child neglect. And I remember thinking to myself, what have I done? And then I felt everything all at once. All the emotions that I'd worked so hard to not feel. By the time I get out of jail, there's no home to go back to. I've lost my car, lost my kids. I didn't know what to do, where to go. And at that point, I had no hope of fixing anything. When I got to the city rescue mission, I was in a dark place. I was doing a, a lot of unhealthy things. It felt like God plucked me out and put me in jail for a little while and just like, you need to dry up and be. And then he put me here. When you get here, you're given a, a second chance. You know, all is not lost. We just, Sometimes need a place where we're safe, and where we're loved, where we can sit still and wait on God. What happened to me could happen to anybody. One day things are going right, and the next you can lose it all. And we need to be there for each other. And I think the mission is a great place to start at. I've calmed down a whole lot. <laughs> I have, and um, I think a whole lot before I act, and um, I'm at peace. And you know, even though like, I'm going through a lot, my, um, you know, I don't have my kids, and I'm away from my husband, 
but I'm working on it. Even though I'm in pain and I miss my children, I know that I'm not alone and I know I'm not walking this walk by myself and that brings me joy. So I can still smile, you know, while I'm going through this and I can still be joyful. And then um, I'm learning every day and I'm gonna be a better mom. I miss my children. They've been in foster care for a whole year and I felt every day of that year and I had to fight and work really hard. I'm so grateful for the help I've, I've got here at the mission and helping me get things right. And now they're back with me, they're home and I'm excited. Even though I can't get that time back, at least now I can embrace every moment I have with them and I know how special it is. Now I'm mum again and now I have to make the right choices. The more time I spend with God, the more time I spend with my kids, every day things are getting better. I'm really hopeful and I'm happy for the future. It's going to take a lot of work, but I'm ready. I love my kids so, so much. Um, I can't even explain how much I love them. And I am really sorry about this, this experience we've had to go through, but I want them to get out of it. I want them to, to see mum make it. So they know when times get hard, not to just give up and let go, but to dig their heels in, persevere, get through and be strong.